Come on, somebody. Some of us can't even see God for 10 minutes. Some of us, we could, we could talk on the phone long. Come on, somebody. I'm going, I'm going there today. Some of us, we, we could talk two hours on the phone and can't pray five minutes. Child, you know my legs ain't right. Your mouth ought not to be right. Come on, somebody. Yes. Some of us can't even sit in church two hours. Could work eight hours on a job, work overtime, laugh, talk about this one, that one, and the younger, and Edgy, and Neil. And we just come on, I'm going to go down. We, we can sit around and come to all conversation, but can't talk to God for 10 minutes without getting mouth dry, without getting weary, without, without dazing off and looking in the stars and the moon and at the ceiling. Come on, somebody. But yet and still, we can wrap ourselves in some conversations that gets us. Yes. We can spend so much time idle talking about nothing. Because after a while you find yourself gossiping. Oh, I don't gossip. Oh, come on, we all got come on, don't act like you don't gossip. We all talk, we all we start talking good, but then we start talking about some other stuff we shouldn't talk about. I can raise my hand on that one too. Yes. Did you see so 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 so? Told to be acrylic at, told to be saved. That way I ain't come to church. I say if you don't let one devil stop you from trying to come to church, then you you better go home and get equipped with the Lord because can't no devil in hell stop me from coming to church. You can cuss me out in the parking lot, roll your eyes, I'm gonna pray for you. You can, you can talk bad all about me, put me on Facebook, Twitter, don't make me no difference. Come on, somebody, because I don't live to please people. I live to please God. And to all the congregation of the children of Israel unto the wilderness of Paran and Kadesh, and brought back word unto them, and unto the congregation, and showed them the fruit of the land. All right. Oh, come on, somebody. And they told him and said, We came unto the land where thou sentest us, and surely it flowed with milk and honey, and this is the fruit of it. See, Amen. when God sent you somewhere, yes. and he, he already told you. But when you see the confirmation, so sometimes people they they, they, they get short feet and then they get they get they get still feet. But when God showed me the confirmation that the business is mine, when, when He allowed me to go to the bank and the bank said you approved for one point eight million dollars, I don't need no other confirmation. I don't care what the other ten saying. I see what the results on the paperwork is saying. I heard what the banker say. Come on, somebody. When God said you're gonna be blessed. I'm not talking about money. 
Because yeah. I want to be prosperous and help. I want, I want to be able to see my son grow up and be somebody successful. And see his kids grow up and be somebody successful. You ain't got to walk around here, everybody sagging their pants, talking about looking cool. You better go back and look in the jailhouse. That means that you belong to somebody. I don't belong to nobody. That's why I got a belt on. Come on, somebody. The devil never lie. So you better be careful the fans that you pick it up. So quit sagging your pants, men. Unless you belong to somebody. Yeah. Oh, come on, Lord. Oh, come on, Saints. Oh, come on, Saints. Or if Hollywood ever needs some actors, amen. Come on. You, can, you can go to the church. Whatever you put your attention to, you give your life to it. Whatever you put your attention to, you get your life to it. Yes. That's what the Bible says. He said, set your things on the things that are above. All right, guys. Your affection on the things that are above. Yes. So a lot of people, we give too much attention to yes. Satan yes. and his imps yes. and the things he's doing. Yes. So now Satan come to church with a dress on. Yes. Oh, come on, somebody yes. say he'll, he'll give you a hallelujah. Uh -huh. He'll speak in tongues and he'll say, Shabba -ba 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 <laughs> Yes, Satan. He come sit on the pew because cause Satan already knows who's real and who's ain't. That's why I love the story of Acts 19. The Bible said, come on, somebody, Satan say, Paul, I know. So don't be thinking you can fool God. Come on, somebody, don't think you can fool Satan. He said, Paul, I know. Jesus, I know. So you better be a real McCoy if you're talking about you serving the Lord. If you ain't real, you better go home and, and start praying and seeking God and fasting and turn the TV off and put yourself on the pew because you pay for voicemail, so you ain't got to always answer the phone. Let voicemail take the call sometime. And get and get in your prayer moment and start removing them devils out of your life. Now all they want to do is push up on you and suck every life out of you and suck all the money out of you. Now all the money you done saved up, now you're back. You're broke, disgusted, and can't be trusted. Now you ain't got that but in your pocket. And God has given you the ability to save the money, to invest in yourself because God has blessed you. And now you allow pigs to trample over you. Oh, the Bible says, don't cast your pearls to the swine. I believe if you're going to help me, I should have a plan. I'm going to say this out of my own mouth. Don't help me if I ain't got a plan. If you come to me and you say, hello, Patty, what you need? And I tell you what I need? And if I can't tell you my plan, don't give it to me. I'm serious. If I need help with a bill, and if I can't give you a plan to pay the next bill, don't give it to me. So you don't need it until you can get a plan. Until you get a plan you gonna work this out? You don't need it. Yeah. And a lot of us walk around here planless. Uh -huh. yeah. See, time is winding up. Yeah. Time is winding up. Yeah. We can tell that in the weather. We can tell it in so many other things. Yeah. We can tell it with, 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 with the lesbianism and the, and, the, and the gays and the homosexuals. And now they want to turn the world into to my Saint John Love. The devil inside is still gay. Amen. Yeah. Right. They want to turn it. To, they want to try. Satan is trying to turn the world. He'll try to change the world or two. Yeah. But sin is still sin. Yeah. See, he, he'll, he'll try to make it comfortable for you. So a lot of times, people, we, we get comfortable with things, and we say, well, that's just my mom's attitude, and that's just my dad's ways, and my uncle's situation, and all let's call it just what it is. It's sin. It's sin. What come on somebody, whether the preacher did it or you did it, it's still the same sin, because there ain't going to be no bishop lying in heaven. There ain't going to be no pastor lying in heaven. No, the Bible says we're going to be just like as one. Well, I'm going to be the same brother. He gonna be the same brother. She gonna be the same sister. It ain't gonna be no apostle line in heaven. No, you gonna be judged according to your own works. Your perception determines a lot in your life. Let me say it again. Maybe somebody didn't catch that. Your perception determines a lot in your life. Not in mine. In your life. How you see it. So you have to see yourself. Moving to another level. Yes. You have to see yourself growing. You have to see yourself flourishing. That's why I like the Bible when he used the lily. He said flourish like the lily. Yeah. See, a lot of people want to open up and be like a cabbage. Yes. Come they want to see a cabbage starts open, then it closes. Yes. But see, the lily starts closed, then it open. 